Hey guys, uh, so lately I've noticed that my cigarette lighter here, or the car charger, whatever you want to call it, it's not working. I plug this Johnson in and make sure the car is actually to the on position. <laughs> and it's, the light's not turning on to this thing, so uh, it's not working. That light should be turning on. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the only thing that should be wrong with it is a broken fuse. So let's go through our manual and find which fuse it is and replace it. So you always hear people in their car DIY videos saying, refer to your manual, but these manuals are not really page turners and they're kind of hard to look through. So in pretty much every book ever, uh, you have the table of contents. So we're just gonna look for like maintenance and care because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to maintain our vehicle. Okay, so here we are in owner maintenance. So I'm just gonna scroll through until we find something about fuses. Which should look something like this. So we turn back. Here we go, you have a diagram of your fuse box. So all you gotta do is read through all these listings until you find the fuse that you're looking for. Like we have, you know, cooling fountain, power steering. None of these are what we're looking for. We want to find one that says something like cigar or, or cigarette lighter or something along those lines. That's what we're trying to replace. Um, aha, right here. So right here we have lighter, cigar, and it's actually on passenger side fuse block. The one we got to replace is number 43. That's the one we need, which is right here. This very last one on the end there. Now the fuse block will be different in every car. Um, just kind of look up online where your fuse, passenger side fuse block is and it should tell you where it is. For mine, it's under my passenger side dash. Okay, so here we go. Let's look for this fuse box that's supposedly under my driver's side dash. So it looks like we've got a cover here. Um, and we've got a couple of tabs here that will release and allow this to come down. Ha! Ah, okay, now that's down. <laughs> Looks like this is our fuse box. Um, and we've got a couple of little tabs here that um, we can unscrew. Shabam, that one's done. Bam. And then, the, oh, look, this drops down. And there's our fuse box. So in the diagram, it said that there were two rows. Ours was on the second long row from the bottom. And it was this one right here, this 15 amp one that was broken. So you just grab your needle nose, needle nose pliers, grab a hold of the fuse that's broken, and you can just pull it right out like a tooth. Although I'm not a dentist, so I can't make that comparison. Um, and then you can just kind of go to AutoZone and ask them to give you a a fuse that's the same same kind um the fuse amp is gonna be on the top like this one is 15 um so you can just go ask for a 15 uh amp fuse make sure you get the right size though because this is actually a mini there's like mini and then a couple sizes bigger but i, I can't remember what they're called so i went to autozone and i picked up an, a fuse um 15 amp fuse and I, I don't know if you can see but inside the two of them let me see if I can get it to focus. Maybe not. But this blue one is broken. And this, this other blue one I got there, uh, it's fixed on the inside, like it's, it's all the way through. So we're gonna swap this one out. And you can just stick it right in. Oh, <laughs> stick it right in. Shabam. And that should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and plug everything back in where it was. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and turn this key. Find the thing that I plugged in. 
see if this light tur light turns on. Oh wait. Ah, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> so this will now charge. Well, it's connected to this. So you can't actually see it charging my phone, but um, yep, it works now. So super simple, easy to fix. Just pop the old fuse out and put the new fuse. Put the new. Yeah, yep.